What up bees and welcome to my next project, 23andMe.com. This site is something that I've been wanting to try for a long time and recently I've decided to finally fork over the 99 bucks to try it. Genetics is a hot field right now and this site is the best way to reap the rewards. I currently work in the healthcare field and it amazes me how many nurses are unfamiliar with this site because it's been around for quite some time. At the beginning of the year, they recently bumped down the price to $100 for a full genetic reading that gives you up-to-date discoveries about health-related issues, susceptibility to drugs, your ancestry, as well as just about anything else they can possibly tell you, ranging from the type of genetic diseases you're susceptible to to the type of earwax that you have. The site emails you with science advances. Very cool stuff. I encourage everyone to visit the site and check out the details. Okay, guys, so I ordered a 23andMe kit. This is what it looks like. It's a box. I haven't opened it yet. I don't know what's inside, uh, but I'm going to do that now. So here I go. It's my 23andMe kit. It says, before providing your sample, register your kit at www.23andMe.com slash start. Your sample will not be processed unless it is registered. So, I'm going to not do that and I'm going to provide my spit now. There it is. There's a little like a compartment there with some some stuff. I'm assuming that's not someone else's spit. <laughs> All right. Step one: register. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll register the damn thing. Let's go. Okay, I am now registering my kit. It says uh, it wants a barcode here, so that's what I'm going to give it. The barcode is found on the side of the tubey thing. So now I'm going to enter the barcode. Submitting barcode. To continue, accept our terms of service. Okay, so it looks like it wants more information about me. So anyway, this is generally how this works. So I'm going to fill out all this information and I'll get back to you. All right, so I just registered my kit. All I did was I put the barcode in, in the computer when it asked me to, and then I answered a bunch of really annoying uh, terms of service questions. So... Now I can go to step two, finally. Spit into funnel until the amount of liquid saliva, not bubbles, reaches the fill line shown in picture two. Okay, so... Oh, fill two, I see. Okay, so... There's the fill two line. Alright, so the instructions said for me to fill the line, and I have... Uh, the bulb, this up here is all bubbles. That's down here is genuine spit. Took me like 15, 20 minutes to fill that up. I, I suck at spitting, okay? So anyway, I can go on to the next step. It says, hold the tube upright with one hand, close the funnel lid with the other hand, as shown by firmly pushing the lid until you hear a loud click. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's do this. Okay, so the liquid that was in that container just fell into the tube. So it says, the liquid in the lid will be released into the tube to mix with the saliva. Make sure that the lid is closed tightly. It is. Okay. Hold the tube upright. Unscrew the funnel from the tube. Okay. <laughs> and my spit. I may have spit a lot in it, okay? Alright, so anyway. Now it says, use the small cap to close the tube tightly. Okay, so the cap is over here. It's actually inside, still inside the package. So I'm going to grab that. Keep. 
Use a small cap to close the tube tightly. Okay. I have closed the tube tightly. <laughs> Alright, shake the capped tube for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. That was that was that was some quick seconds. I'm gonna give it a little extra juice here. Alright. Place capped tube into the bio specimen bag containing the absorbent pad and seal bag. Okay, it's very fancy. Okay, peel here, peel here, peel here. Okay, I'm closing the box. It is done. <laughs> Had a good ending. All right.